Hi, this is Wallace Simpson and I'm with Acceleris and welcome to our series of videos on Provence ITSM built on the Microsoft Dynamics CRM platform. We've put together a number of videos and all of them can be found on our YouTube channel at the link at the bottom of the screen here or you can simply go to youtube.com and search for Acceleris. We've got a couple videos on value proposition. One, if you're a customer thinking about using Provence ITSM in your organization and using Accelerus to help you implement it. And a second video if you're a partner and want to work with us on Provence ITSM implementations. Many customers are interested in knowing what it might look like to implement Provence ITSM, so we put together a video to give an overview of exactly what that might look like. And then we put together a bunch of demo videos, the first set being role-based. So if you're a service desk tech or a manager, you can see exactly how you might use Provence ITSM on a daily basis. We also have provided an overview of how the self-service portal works, as well as mobile apps for iOS, Android, and also Windows Phone. And then lastly, we have a video that highlights some of the systems integrations available to you, things like TFS, SharePoint, and Active Directory. And with that, let's jump into today's content. Hi, in today's topic, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the self-service portal available in Provence ITSM. Before I show you some screenshots, let's just level set on what a self-service portal is and why you might want to use one. A self-service portal is typically a website that is internally facing for users and customers within an organization and it's an interface into the IT organization. So why do you think you might use one of those? First of all, it allows the organization to streamline simple workflow activities, things like requests and incident submission, common activities that users often perform, and it puts the solution closer to end users by allowing information from knowledge base articles to be presented straight to users rather than having to call the help desk via a phone. And what it does is allow users to submit tickets and requests on their time into the service desk. Here's a screenshot of the Provence ITSM self-service portal. Starting from the top, you'll see a couple menu choices, Home, Announcements, Knowledge Base, and Help Desk. And I'll show you in just a moment how they work together. Down below, you have the opportunity to host forums and discussion groups. And then over in the lower right, you can put in things like announcements for events. So if a user were to click on the Help Desk link in the portal, this is what they would be presented with. First, you can ask them, what can we help you with? And there's a free text form for them to fill in. They can also take a look at cases that are open and active, as the self-service portal knows who the user is when they log in. After a user types in, what can we help you with? They are presented with information that might look like this. Let's assume the user typed in, Surface cannot power on. And you'll notice that they're presented with a knowledge base article that you've created. There's a problem statement and a solution statement. You can see rich text included in here with drawings and pictures. This is a great solution for many customers whose user base is used to and prefers to do a little bit of research on issues before actually having to call a service desk. As with many ITIL processes, knowledge management is an extremely important activity where you can collect information and present it as knowledge back to the users, and a self-service portal is a great place to do that. Now let's assume in this case that the knowledge base article does not answer the user's issues. So what would they do next? They're actually presented with an option to open a new service request right here. So after the user clicks open new service request, they might see something like this. This is the create ticket form, and this will actually create an incident ticket straight from the self-service portal back into Provence ITSM. It's a fairly simple form that asks simple questions like, what's the purpose of the ticket? Please provide detailed description, and what service does it affect? It also gives the user an opportunity to insert the urgency. In this case, we've selected two for high. And after we go ahead and hit submit, the ticket gets logged on our behalf. Now, just flipping back into the help desk view that we were looking at before, you'll notice that the ticket's right there. It's got surfaces not powering on, there's the ticket ID, the status, and the created on. 
And the user at this point can actually track the status of this ticket right here by clicking on the hyperlink. Instant management processes often vary from organization to organization. The user could also reference this ticket ID and call into the service desk, and any service desk agent they'd be speaking with is looking at the exact same ticket on the back end through Provence ITSM. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a view of what the service desk features look like in Provence ITSM. If you'd like to see a more detailed demonstration and have a conversation about how a self-service portal can help your organization, please give us a call or email us at the information on the screen here. Thanks.